faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it, and it only tears. I am horrified by this. As we speak, a cosmic spectacle is unfolding that fascinates astronomers around the world. Betelgeuse, the glamorous red supergiant that graces Orion's shoulder, is undergoing a remarkable transformation. Its brightness, the brilliant glow that defines its celestial presence, increased extraordinarily, surpassing its normal splendor by an astonishing 50%. At dawn this year, Betelgeuse proudly held the prestigious title of the 10th brightest star on our night screen. However, this unexpected brightness in the sky has catapulted it to a new prestigious position, now shining as the seventh star in our eerie night sky. Betelgeuse, a huge star in its final stage, is huge in size. Its dimensions are so large that if it were placed in the center of our solar system, it would reach the orbit of Jupiter. Eventually, that star will collapse, leading to a powerful supernova explosion that can lead to either a neutron star or a black hole. The anticipation surrounding the Betelgeuse supernova stems from the fact that it is an extraordinary event. At approximately 650 light years away, humanity is optimally positioned to witness this cosmic spectacle firsthand. When a star explodes, it creates an amazing light. First comes an unexpected stream of neutrinos that sweeps across the globe and is detected by observatories around the world. After high-energy photons escape from the expanding stellar debris cloud, Betelgeuse rapidly intensifies over a week, reaching up to 100,000 times its normal brightness. Depending on the strength of the explosion, this sign in the sky can compete with the brightness of a full moon and can even be visible in daylight and cast clear shadows at night. This spectacular event will continue for a long time, providing an unprecedented opportunity for detailed observations and potentially amazing discoveries. Although the Betelgeuse supernova may ignite speculation and fear, due to historical associations with such events and bad omens, we can take solace in the fact that we are safely at a considerable distance and protected from any ill effects. To fully understand the mystery surrounding Betelgeuse, it is important to go back to the end of 2019, when strange phenomena began to appear. During this time, the red supergiant star began to experience significant dimming, visible even to the naked eye. Observations of the optical spectrum with the Very Large Telescope showed that Betelgeuse appeared broadly symmetrical, but its photospheres showed significant disturbances in our field of view. The photosphere refers to the outer layer of a star where light is emitted. Scientists have also observed the expansion of the photosphere, giving the impression that the star is expanding when viewed from Earth. This expansion continued at a steady rate of about 8 kilometers per second for most of the year until mid-November 2019, when the outward velocity began to slow. In mid-November 2019, the flow of material from Betelgeuse stopped, prompting astronomers to take new optical images of the star. These new images revealed two surprising irregularities. First, a dark area appeared in the southern hemisphere of the star, which created a striking contrast with the image taken at the beginning of last year. Second, the surface temperature of the star decreased by about 80 Kelvin. Between January 27 and February 13, 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness reached an all-time low. However, about a year after the outflow stopped, the star gradually regained its brightness over the following months and then returned to its normal size. This led to the question, what really happened to Betelgeuse? All available evidence strongly suggests that Betelgeuse experienced a massive and unprecedented event known as a surface mass ejection, SME. This phenomenon has similarities to the coronal mass ejection, CME, observed on the Sun. To better understand SME, imagine a volcanic eruption on the scale of a star. Material from inside the star ripples up and out, causing shock waves in its atmosphere. Over time, this material forms molecules and dust, partially blocking our view of the star and obscuring it. In the case of Betelgeuse, the SME ejected 400 billion times more mass than is typically seen in similar events in other stars or CMEs. It was several times the mass of the moon and moved with amazing speed. Scientists have pointed out that such a huge mass eruption from the surface of a star has never been seen before. 
The event allowed the Hubble telescope to directly observe and study surface details, providing real-time insights into the aging and evolution of a dying star. The SME had a profound impact on Betelgeuse, losing a significant amount of mass in a single event. This event showed that a dying star can experience significant mass loss from the stellar wind, exceeding the normal annual loss. In a way, it was as if the upper layers of Betelgeuse had been forced out and were now slowly recovering from the effects of this injury. However, after this sad event, the behavior of the star changed. It used to pulsate or change brightness every 400 days, but now every 200 days. Betelgeuse is classified as a semi-regular variable star, meaning that it has several distinct periods of brightness due to fluctuations in its size and temperature. This red supergiant can have two main light pulsation periods. The first menstrual cycle lasts 400 days and is thought to be caused by pulsation in the basal state. The second period is a longer cycle of approximately 5.6 years, the origin of which is unknown. The researchers used computer simulations in their research to gain a deeper understanding of what happened. They claimed that an unusually hot jet of gas rose from inside the star, resembling a large and powerful bubble. These hot gas bubbles sometimes form in the star's turbulent and convective envelope, which can be compared to a boiling soup where material is constantly moving and mixing. As this hot bubble rose and broke through the surface of the star, it triggered an ejection of stellar material that interestingly disrupted the regular pulsation pattern of the star. The surface of the star continued to expand while its deeper regions contracted, causing the star to switch from its normal 400-day pulse to a new 200-day pulse. Astronomers expect the star's regular motion to gradually stabilize the unusual pulsation over the next 5 to 10 years, eventually returning Betelgeuse to its normal 400-day pulsation. As for the possibility of a Betelgeuse supernova, astronomers speculate that it could happen any time within the next 10,000 to 100,000 years. Based on factors such as the color, brightness, size, and estimated age of the star, scientists say that Betelgeuse is currently in the early stages of helium-carbon fusion. This process must continue through oxygen, silicon, and finally iron before the star's core collapses under its own gravity leading to a cataclysmic explosion. Since Betelgeuse is 650 light years away, any supernova events happening now will not be visible to us until 650 years later due to the limitations of the speed of light. Therefore, it is highly unlikely that we will see a star die dramatically in our lifetime. Betelgeuse is unique in that we can see its surface, which is not the case with most other stars. This gives us an incredible opportunity to learn how massive stars like Betelgeuse behave as they age, including surprising mass ejection events. Recently, astronomers made a bone-chilling discovery. For the first time, they saw a star eating its planet 12,000 light-years away in the constellation Aquila. With its intriguing name and prominent position in the night sky, Betelgeuse has captured the human imagination for centuries. Its significance extends beyond scientific knowledge as it has left its mark on pop culture and mythology around the world. The origins of Betelgeuse are rich and varied, coming from the Arabic language, originally interpreted as giant armpit. Some scholars suggest that it may represent an arm or a shoulder. This anatomical association is reflected in various interpretations of Betelgeuse, which is often associated with anthropomorphic or animal figures in various cultures and mythologies. Betelgeuse contains multifaceted meanings and symbolism. In ancient Japan, it represented a severed limb, while in Brazil, it represented the leg of a turtle or the hind leg of a caiman. The Sanskrit word Betelgeuse means wet, associated in Hindu astrology with the moon and Rudra, the god of violent storms. Throughout history, Betelgeuse has played an important role in cultural practices and traditions. For example, in the Macedonian tradition, it symbolizes tame animals and the agricultural life of villages. In other areas, such as northern Baffin Island and the Melville Peninsula, its rise signaled the start of spring and longer days. Betelgeuse's cultural prominence stems from her membership in the Orion constellation, where she is identified as the star on Orion's right shoulder. As one of the brightest stars in the sky, ranked 11th in brightness, 
it fascinates and inspires artists, writers, and filmmakers. There is much more to say on this topic. What do you think about Beetlejuice's recent metamorphosis and its possible future supernova explosions? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please click, share, and subscribe. See you next time.